hi you guys welcome back to my channel Sopo here I am filming another baby items video that we have gotten in the preparation for our baby girl I hope you can see my belly even though I'm wearing a white t-shirt dress today it's one week ahead from the last video that I've uploaded so I'm 35 weeks old it's literally a last countdown right now before she decides to come so we are frantically looking through our lists what are the items that are still missing so some of the items are still on the way ordered and some of them we are like still contemplating to get or not um, but we already accumulated number of items and uh, the furniture pieces in the nursery where I'm currently located at and a few other bits like uh, the bath that we chose as well as like bouncers and different like changing the mats I've already talked about in the previous video which I'm gonna link over here so if you're curious please click on there and you can catch up on that similar to the previous video I'm gonna try to insert every link below the video and also show you as much as possible either through hand or you know like through pictures so I hope you enjoy watching this one there is lots so let's don't waste the time and let's get started so we can start first of all with the items that are on the changing station I'm gonna once again insert the picture for you to see the changing mat from Leander that I got and that I talked in the previous um, video already about it's in capucin color and to match with that I still wanted to have like storage boxes where I could store all the other items um, for various purposes. One, when I would want to dust clean I did not want to pick up individually those items like in hand so it's an organizational purpose that it had but also it looks very very cute so I saw these two storage boxes and I'm gonna show you just directly the way they are um, on I don't know if I'm pronouncing this shop correct, if it's Samtsam or Kamkam Copenhagen. It's Danish store. It's made out of very squishy material. You can directly wash it in the washing machine, obviously. Has a little um, dandelions all over the insert, like inner part of this box. Um, and it's beige color. And from outside it has also like, I don't know, cream, pink undertoned color. Um, that is very very pretty. I tried to avoid pink as much as I could so that it would not come like too saturated with pink. I can imagine when she grows up she wants to have everything in either neon colors or I don't know like bright colors but for my personal taste as long as I'm deciding things before she can voice herself I really love this muted colors and that was one of the reasons that drove me to this design especially this dandelions remind me of my childhood where I would be outside picking them up making a wish and like blowing them off so yeah I don't know it had a little bit of sentimental feeling um, so in each of those boxes I have a little toy that I don't know obviously it's not gonna reside here but yeah we can give her in the hand when we are changing her when she is big enough this is quite large for a newborn, but I also have two clothes that I got um, from Zara, these two particular ones, and they are pretty large so that you can sort of, yeah, do different things with it, um, 55 on 55 centimeter, and they had also very, very pretty neutral colors, as you can see. So that's what is in one of the boxes and in another I just have another little toy that I got from Main Savage that's a French store where um, these toys like knitted toys are made like hand knitted they are very beautiful quality and they have such cute items they are quite pricey but I couldn't resist I wanted also to get cat one but I really had to press buttons for myself to not get crazy they come also in different sizes so if you like the way it looks um yeah you can just check their shop out I don't have any you know like advantage out of showing you this I just found it extremely cute and also as you can tell it says in front like dream big which is something that I had on my Instagram very long super cheesy but I find it very very important you have to start dreaming big and then working your way towards it and that's something I hope that I can teach her another item that I have over here is the nail trimmer or I don't know how they are exactly called nail file so to say 
they are super soft i have tried it on my head i can't even imagine how should this file anything i was devastated even with the thought of like cutting her nails bearing in mind how tiny her hands gonna be maybe it's not that big of a trouble but yeah a lot of people recommend it to get something like this you can have different headings they are with different strength but as told even the strongest one is like super soft so you can file off her nails without needing to cut them you just charge it and yeah that's how it goes and another item that i have over here is like little brush it's made out of softest brittles you can just brush her skin off even when dry or after shower i heard that newborn babies often have like scaly skin in the beginning and that could probably be helpful to brush off the excess dead skin that she might have this one is by kia babies as told i'm gonna insert the link below i got it from amazon it was not pricey at all another thing that i have here is the teether which we absolutely do not need at the beginning um, and i'm aware of that but when i was placing an order on this come come copenhagen shop um i was lacking a few euros to get a free shipping and this one was like approximately 15 euro and i decided to get it it looks so cute it looks like a snowflake or maybe you have other suggestions for me it looks like snowflake um so yeah it's for later time but we have it another thing that we have is uh, this spatula that is an applicator so to say for some um, diaper rash cream after changing the diapers for her and for that purpose i also have this large 150 milliliter um, elasan baby cream salve so to say which is against like uh, wounds and for for generally for skin to be honest i have not gotten this myself but a friend of mine from berlin had a um, few of them and she said that she has not used them it was still valid and kindly enough she brought it with her i have two tubes so that i can try them talking about forgetting things i was noticing last few weeks that i'm starting to forget many things it was really annoying me especially speaking in different languages i anyway have that trouble of like remembering different words now it only got worth and the past weekend uh, we had also birth preparation course where the midwife said that it's literally thing to have mommy brain which continues and gets even worse while breastfeeding so i don't know i'm not really looking forward to that period but let's see what it's gonna be saying that having like abos and is very very helpful and that's what we're gonna be doing with diapers as well which we still don't have by the way and we're still in the process of like picking one we were thinking about like going the standard way as most of our friends did and picking the pumpers um, but somehow our midwife was not impressed with it at all so I'm um, not exactly sure if you have any good recommendations that worked good with you please comment in the comment section below I'm gonna be very very happy anyhow that's so far what is in this little boxes I think the content of it's gonna be changing depending on what we need and once she's there we're gonna sort out better what we exactly need for her another item that we have over here is wet wipes and i have it in this lovely matching uh, set like cover from come come copenhagen it has opening like this and i have water wipes uh, which i heard quite a lot about apparently the first version of them were more appraised vis-a-vis -vis this ones they are decomposable and like recyclable as far as i know it's supposed to contain 99 percent nine water um, and they're a little bit larger than the standard wipes that I've seen. A friend of mine told that these covers are not very convenient because it has this opening and the top layer of this wipe is gonna dry constantly. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using this as much as another one that I also got. But as you know, we have two different changing stations and the main changing station is gonna be upstairs um, where we sleep and where she's also gonna be with us. So um, yeah i also got this one from amazon that you probably have seen all over like in the kitchen it's just a normal vanity wipe holder so to say closing this top is probably gonna help and prevent drying out and it's also very neutral and sleek i think i'm gonna be taking this upstairs for the first months is to come we're gonna have a lot more chat diaper changes and later on when she moves to her nursery over here and we don't have to change the diapers as often as uh, in the beginning maybe this one still 
works. Talking about the different changing stations, we also got several spatulas over here, which currently are residing in one of those drawers. The smaller one's gonna be hopefully very convenient when we are on the go. So obviously we have like a diaper bag. This definitely comes in there as well. And another like um, wound cream for on the go that I got because of the size is by Vileda, um, which is like nappy changey cream with calendula, as you can see just 75 milliliters and yeah that's something that also this midwife recommended very much i think it's going to be more convenient to drop this in the bag and just keep it in there vis-a-vis -vis those big ones which i want on the different changing stations talking about the clothes we have tons of them i think i went a little bit overboard um at the moment <laughs> with clothes but I don't have experience and a lot of people say that you run out of them because kid barbs like throws up etc so let me show you quickly how i have stored them here this is the area where i'm going to be putting like stacking up the um, diapers once we decide for them and make an order first few bits of the clothes uh, are in here apart from that i also have another stash as you can tell in here which I'm gonna be individually showing you and telling you also which shops I ordered them from which are thicker which are thinner etc these ones over here which come in different colors like different color of beige and earthy tones a little bit gray and a few bits of pinks as you can tell I ordered from H&M and I think they are the smallest ones that we have they are 40 centimeter on 40 centimeter just to give you a overview that's how small they are but you can quickly drop them on your shoulder or i don't know on your arm if you're having the baby on the fly jet uh, pose or something like that in comparison to the zara ones and especially uh, the ones that i ordered from lee wood these ones are a little bit thinner so probably you have to have them like folded so that they don't leak out the burp or milk as for the other bits this one is as well the third pair that came with the zara one i was thinking even to use those larger ones when we are giving bath to her the 37 degree of water temperature is not very warm and it gets pretty quickly cold not all the babies are so fond of bathing and uh, to make that experience a bit more convenient people put such like warm cloth first on their body or wrap them around and add a little bit of water let's see if that's gonna give us a little bit of relief i have two more made out of same material and um, have same length so apparently it was pack of four and then i have other muslim clothes which have this beautiful patterns that i'm absolutely in love with it's just so so cute it just warms my heart i know that she's not even seeing this but yeah i have to deal with all this mess and having pretty things surrounding me makes me like happier i can't imagine this period of like staying at home and doing all these things gonna be very isolating and very tiresome like feels like chore whatever can help in this process i am willing to pay an extra money for that this one i got from Kam Kam copenhagen as well i think this is the largest one that i have it's 75 centimeter on 75 the other two that are same and have also different animals on uh, are from leewood yes they are from leewood same thing 100 percent cotton organic cotton they feel also very very thick um yeah as for the print look at it yourself just because i mentioned the bath time you already know from the previous video that we ordered the stalker flexi bath that is foldable it still hasn't arrived but i'm very much looking forward all in all i'm a huge fan of the system of that bath if it doesn't have any technical problems i'm sure that i'm gonna be loving it in any case apart from that i wanted to show you what we got for the bath time also obviously needed a little towel i have not even removed the tag which i have to do it has this cute little ears it's quite large i don't even know what animal is this if you have any idea what it can be 
please let me know once you take her out of the bath you can just snuggle her in cover with this little head some of you mamas here yeah, who have done this 20 times gonna be sitting there like oh we have all been there what makes you so excited but it's first time so obviously i'm excited apart from that i also got this two uh wash clothes i don't know however they are called you can see pins on them but that's sort of a little reminder for me that i have still to wash them same about the towel i have not washed it that's why the tag was still hanging this one i got as well from kam kam Copenhagen when i got the teaser so you can see like similarity with the color it has little ears i don't even know what's this supposed to be and another one i think i got at h&m I would not say that the quality of H&M is anyhow less of the Kam Kam Copenhagen and this is a fraction of the price. So yeah, little teddy bear. And when we were having our birth preparation course yesterday, they also gave this Penaten little washcloth. I just thought why throw it away, it can be useful, it's just simple white one. And they also gifted a little, I don't know, shower, shampoo, um, gel to try. You guys, little gossip about that. She said that we don't have to use any kind of shampoo or body wash the entire first year of bathing her, which like surprised not only me but a few other attendees that don't come from Germany. I definitely don't know it this way and it sounds really awkward. She was like use warm water and cloth and wash her off thoroughly but there is no need to add any type of cream even post shower or to use any kind of like um, shampoos saying that i have already ordered a few bits that i definitely want to try out now that my husband has heard uh, from her that it's actually not very good for her skin he is very much doubtful if there is a need for us to use it ah i don't know Midwives in Germany can be very opinionated and very like ecologically driven uh, For example, even with wet wipes or with pampas, they were like Leaning more towards the other alternatives that are more natural using the cotton diapers or using some cloth and warm water instead of wipes so yeah and yeah but you should know yourself you should know your lifestyle and if that can drive you crazy and can make your first months even more difficult than it actually already is with the newborn baby i would say it's absolutely okay to prioritize your comfort at that stage to get back to the topic her suggestion was that babies don't need to be bathed more than once a week and I come from a country where they bathe babies every single day if, if not every day, every other or third day at least so yeah, I think I'm gonna be sticking with every third day or fourth day and for that purpose I also got a few bits and pieces <laughs> over here and this too came from Amazon, from Bird's Bees it's a shampoo and wash uh, and this one is the lotion 99% of natural origin pediatrician tested plant-based cleansing tear free and foam free very gentle for even everyday use non-irritating formula this one has lavender so it should be very soothing for fussy babies at least that's what i know as well that in georgia people bathe the babies when they are very fussy or have tummy ache that it sometimes can you know calm them and the third one that I have over here is uh, the oil for massaging her, especially again if she has some colic, there are a lot of videos and instructions how to do the massages, uh, but also primarily after the bath time, I thought having like such care oil without any fragrance uh, by Veleda and again having like calendula inside it uh, would be very good. Now just to complete what is in the first drawer, I wanted to show you the few rattles and toys that we got, small ones relatively, for her. Once again, I did not want to go overboard with the items that we get for her because I know that as she grows, the amount of the items that babies accumulate because of the gifts, because of the things they want, is immense. This is super simple, neutral rattle, like made out of wood from Zara Baby. In the middle it has this like bite ring, I don't know if it's called uh, in English like that, 
Um, so that when she, once she starts teething or she starts trying uh, items like in her mouth, I can hand it to her. This is as well from the same brand as uh, this one, uh, from Main Savage and has this cute little tiger and when you move it as you can hear it has rattle inside same thing hand knitted easy to hold hopefully for her and this is just a little mushroom over here by muscana this is the smallest one that's why i kept it in the drawer we also have two more and it's like a decor piece um, on the windowsill because our windows go into the nature sanctuary and i thought something related to nature Having this pop of color is very cute. This is also handmade and I really respect the small little shops which do the work. Apart from that, we also have another kitty cat over here. This is another gift of my friend. When she visited, it was a surprise gift and I loved it so much. It's by Leewood. There is no option that we can have too many cat items in this house. The very last one that I have here is by uh, this Danish shop that I'm absolutely sure that I'm butchering Konya's sludged lila muted pink colored knitted unicorn bit rattle once again super cute I loved it I hope she's gonna love it as well now talking about the toys and the first books I have also in Amazon cart one black and white cloth book that is easy to sort of fall in front of her and she's gonna be like trying it out i've seen it with many babies here in germany and they all seem to love it there are numbers on one side and some kind of animals on another so that's what i'm gonna be purchasing as well before she comes home it's not something that you need straight away but if you try to practice at the tummy time they often recommend to have some sort of like toys that knita or this black and white um, figures and cards or books in front of her. We also have already selected a play mat. It's also by Lee Wood. I think it's uh, the theme is the friendship. It also has different animals but has also a neutral base so that when I want to take pretty pictures I can turn it around so that all these animals are not visible. <laughs> yeah but joke aside it's very very pretty. So I think I'm gonna call it a day. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you're interested in any particular items that I've shown you in a bit more depth or if you want to see the clothes cloth up, please let me know. I can do a separate video with regards to that as well. Thank you for spending your time with me. And if you enjoyed watching this video, if you enjoyed the previous video or generally the content that you see on this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be seeing you on my next one.